from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm James Tully. Greg D's watching your forecasts and looking for a warm up this afternoon. First, though, here are your top headlines on this Wednesday. The government website to order free at home COVID tests went live yesterday, one day earlier than originally expected. So you can find a link to this on abcactionnews.com. It is COVID tests. Plural.gov. The U.S. Postal Service says the tests should ship in late January. The White House said orders would be sent first to households experiencing the highest social vulnerability and in communities with a disproportionate number of COVID cases and deaths. The Biden administration also said it would launch a phone number for people without Internet to order these tests. That number has not yet been released. ABC News learned overnight the White House will be taking 400 million N95 masks from the strategic national stockpile and shipping them to pharmacies and health centers all the across the country. They'll be available for free and should arrive in some places by the end of next week. Also, a new walk-up COVID-19 test site is now open in Manatee County at the Suns Insurance Building on 8th Avenue West in downtown Bradenton. You can go anytime between 7A and 7P, but you're urged to pre-register for an appointment. We've got all the details on how to do that, plus other COVID test sites across the Bay Area on abcactionnews.com slash virus. Another city planning on bringing scooters and bike sharing programs to our area. Sarasota announcing it's adding mobility options. Vio will be the exclusive provider of e-scooters and e-bikes. There'll be up to 400 scooters, 75 bikes across the city. The city has not announced where they're going to have the scooters or when they're going to roll them out. But Vio says they're going to offer a free program to give discounted rates to low income users. You can score some deals in downtown Tampa thanks to a new program called the Riverwalk Attraction Pass. If you're familiar with Tampa's City Pass program, it's similar to that. It's a ticket that provides discounts to attractions all along the Riverwalk. The pass includes the Florida Aquarium, the Children's Museum, the Tampa Museum of Art, the History Center, the Pirate Water Taxi. We have more information on what it costs and what it includes on abcactionnews.com. And the Bay Area is throwing its support behind the Bucks as they prepare to host the L.A. Rams on Sunday afternoon. So mark your calendars for Friday morning. It'll be your next chance to grab some free Bucks stuff ahead of the NFC Divisional Round. Just head to the parking lot near Raymond James Stadium. People who drive up will get a swag bag. Also be appearances from the Bucks cheerleaders and Captain Fear. And of course, we're going to be here with you Friday night again, making sure you're ready for this weekend's game. Join our sports team at 7 p.m. for our special coverage of ABC Action News. Run for a repeat. And Greg D, you're taking the Bucks. That's that's the rumor. Uh, I'm uh, cautiously taking the Bucks on Sunday. Really oh, no. nervous about here it. Here comes the nervous coach. <laughs> yeah, Greg. you know me. All right, temperatures in the low 70s out there this afternoon. A gorgeous day. Mild, light winds. Perfect day for a bike ride, a scooter ride, a walk, whatever you've got out there. Maybe Maybe hang out in the backyard, do some outdoor chores. It looks fine. The winds only about five miles an hour during the afternoon. A lot of changes and a lot of things happening before we get to game day on Sunday. It's all broken down in your seven day forecast. You can get it in the ABC Action News app or follow me on Twitter at Greg D. Weather. James. Greg, thanks so much. Get your news 24 7 right here on the ABC Action News Plus app.